There are two search tools in ShareWell, and they function similarly with small differences, and I want to show you a little bit about how they work. There two search tools are the Quick Search in the Task pane on the left side and the Quick Search in the top right corner. Let's start with this top right corner search. This search allows you to either do a general search by doing just the quick search with a magnifying glass or picking a specific item to search for, let's say an incident. Now if you've chosen a specific item, like an incident, you'll see the wrench icon appear here. And this allows you to access some additional options. So for incidents, you can check the box to show only open incidents or uncheck it to show open and closed. You can specify the time frame of your results and how you want them sorted. Also, under these two icons to the right of changed, the relationship icon, if you click it so it's on and highlighted like that, this is going to show children in your search results. If you click on the paperclip, it will show attachments in your results. So if I enter a search term like install and click go, it would go ahead and show me results from incidents. Now, something that only this search tool can do is the general search. And this is going to show me results over a variety of items. So if I do this and search for install, but I choose quick search instead of incidents and click go, I will see results that include the incidents from before, but also a knowledge base article. And that's something that only the quick search in the top right does. Now the task pane search on the left hand side if you don't see the task pane, click on View and click the task pane option so there's a check mark next to it. Now this quick search allows you also to search for specific items. If you click on the drop down here, you choose just what item you want to search for. You might see different items here depending on your access, but some to highlight are the option to search customers, incidents, knowledge articles, and tasks here. The option to include open only or to search open and close is below the search box here. And the other options are available through the ellipse icon to the right of the drop down. Now, what this search tool can do that the other one cannot is it can do a search without entering a keyword. So let's say you want to pull open a list of all of the open tasks not only the ones that are related to a specific word, but all of them. You can only do that with the quick search here on the right. So I would choose that I want to search for a task, and I would not enter any keyword. I would just click the magnifying glass, and I would get a list of all the open tasks.